Hey guys, so here is a weight loss update for you guys. So last that you heard from me is that I started Weight Watchers because the weight loss doctor kind of put me on a very, very restrictive plan. It was like seven to 800 calories. It was very sodium field, field. <laughs> it was very sodium filled and I, I didn't feel comfortable with that kind of restriction versus that kind of sodium. It was confusing to me and I felt like I didn't have any options of like venturing out and choosing healthier foods for me. So that is why I chose Weight Watchers because they teach you how to choose healthier things over non-healthier things while still you're allowed to eat in moderation, but if you're eating in moderation, the unhealthy things are gonna be higher points. A really good example of that, say I eat two bananas, that'll be 220 calories because a banana is usually around 110 calories, and then I eat a Snickers bar, that'd be 220 calories. So we have two healthy things, which are bananas, and then we have a very unhealthy thing, which is a Snickers, and they're both 220 calories. So to people who are counting calories and don't know much about nutrition, they're sitting there and they're like, well, I would much rather eat the Snicker bar because it's the same amount of calories as the bananas and a Snicker bar tastes better. So I want to get more I'm gonna get more bang for my buck, if that makes sense. So people usually choose a Snicker bar over the bananas. But with Weight Watchers, although those are the exact same amount of calories, when you figure out the points of it, bananas are zero points because they're healthy. And then Snickers are like super high in points. I'm talking like probably around 15 or something. So they're trying to teach you how to choose healthier options. So if I had those bananas and I had those Snickers in front of my face, Am I gonna wanna spend so many points on a little thing of Snickers? Or am I gonna wanna eat the healthier option for lower points? So that's why I love Weight Watchers. And also the last thing you heard from me is I was gonna do another 100 days of weighing in. So I wanna let you guys know that I did full nine days of weighing in. I weighed myself nine days in a row. Today is actually the 10th day, but as you can tell, I'm somewhere new. I'm actually in a hotel right now. Me and my girlfriend are on a little vacay situation. So yeah, it is day 10 and I don't have my scale. So I did say in the beginning of these 100 days of weighing in that I was going to weigh in every single day unless I wasn't near a scale and I'm not near a scale. I was actually going to bring my scale. I was ready to bring my scale and I forgot my scale at home. So that's kind of disheartening. It's not really something you think about, oh, let's bring my scale on a vacation. Not a lot of people do that. I've never done that. I was going to do that and I totally forgot it. Not only did I forget my scale, but I forgot a few other things at home. So that wasn't the only thing I forgot, but at least I have my necessities and the things I really do need. So my goal for the first 10 days was to lose five pounds. So, which is unfortunate. Like I really wanna weigh myself today and like I totally can't, um, but I do have every single weigh in and for the first nine days. So I'm going to put that right here. All right, you guys. So here is day one. Hello. It's ready. Five hundred and sixty seven point four pounds. Five sixty seven point four. Hey guys, so today is day two. I'm an imbecile and I already ate, already drank. <laughs> so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Normally I would just skip weighing in if I already ate and drank, but I'm still going to. Hello. It's ready. Five hundred and sixty eight point six pounds. Five sixty eight point six, which I can totally understand, because after you eat, you do gain some weight. Five hundred and sixty eight point six. Five 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 sixty
Hey guys, so it's day three and I'm actually wearing pants and a shirt, so I'm expecting probably to gain about two pounds. So that's usually how much my clothes weigh, but let's do this. And just to prove it, see, clothes. All right, let's step on. Hello. It's ready. Five hundred and sixty-eight point eight pounds. Five sixty-eight point eight. Okay, that's actually less than I was expecting. Hey guys, so day four. Let's do this thing. Hello. It's ready. Five hundred and sixty-five point six pounds. Ooh, five sixty-five point six. I am very proud of that number. Hey guys, so welcome to day five. I did a no-no. I already ate and drank. I really don't want to skip on weighing myself for these hundred days, so I'm still going to do it. So let's do it. Hello. It's ready. Five hundred and sixty-six point two pounds. Five sixty-six point two, which I'm not mad about because I do weigh more after I eat, which isn't that big of a gain from yesterday. Hey guys, so it's day six. I noticed today I'm a little swollen, so I am a little nervous about that. But here we go. Hello. It's ready. 565.2 pounds. 565.2. Uh, I can't remember if that's good or bad. <laughs> I'd have to uh, remember what I weighed yesterday. Hey guys, can you believe it's officially day seven? So last night, I ate a little bit more than I wanted to, so I'm kind of nervous, but let's do it. You know. It's ready. 564.6 pounds. Ooh! 564.6! That's actually good! Hey guys, here we are for day 8 weigh-in, I must say. I'm rather proud of myself, because I have been doing it for every day. So here we go. Hello. It's ready. <laughs> it's ready. Alright. Five hundred and sixty four point zero pounds. Five sixty four point zero. And also I wanna say it's been officially one week on Weight Watchers and I have vlogged every single day, every single bite. I am proud. Hey guys, day nine. I do feel a little bit swollen. So we'll see what that does to the scale. You know. It's ready. 563.2 pounds. Ooh, 563.2. Okay, that's actually really good. So as you can see from that, I was very, very close to reaching that goal. And if I would have weighed in today, I probably could have made that goal. So the things that probably made me not reach that 
sooner was the fact that the first few days I did gain a little bit of weight. So technically I have lost five pounds. I've already lost five pounds because I reached 568 point something. And now I'm 563 point something. So that is a five pound loss. But if we're trying to go from day one to day 10, we're not gonna include that little mishap in the middle there. But yeah, I feel like I'm doing really good and I'm proud of myself because I'm able to eat in moderation and I don't feel like I'm depriving myself and it just feels really good to not be super restrictive but still be able to lose weight because in my opinion from my past and i've shared this with you guys before the more strict i am the more chance i'm going to fail in my opinion and from what i've seen whether it be from 600 pound life people whether it be from the biggest loser although i love those shows <laughs> whether it be from just people that i've seen in real life the faster you lose the weight the less likely you're going to keep it off because it's not always so sustainable because when you lose weight super quickly, that means you're restricting yourself a lot. And that is something that Obese to Beast has taught me. Don't restrict yourself so much in the beginning because you're probably going to fail. And if you do keep losing weight and you do lose a large chunk, more than likely you're gonna gain it back. So I'm not speaking for everyone, <laughs> but it's just something I've noticed, something other people have noticed. And I know for me that if I'm losing weight in a more healthier fashion and not so quickly, that I'm going to keep it off. So if you guys don't remember, I do wanna lose 50 pounds in these 100 days. That's why every 10 days I wanna lose five pounds. So that's the end of this vlog. And the next time you get a weigh-in update will be on day 20 because what I'm gonna be doing is every 10 days, I'm gonna come back at y'all. I'm gonna give you the weigh-ins. I'm gonna talk about how I did, etc., etc. Oh, I didn't really talk about how I did. <laughs> so I did log in every single food I ate for the, all these 10 days. I'm talking every last drop. I don't think I've logged on Weight Watchers like that in a very, very long time. So yay to me. Thing is, I went over points every single day. But what I, what I love about Weight Watchers is that as a whole and as a week, it shows how many points you went over. And my goal, since I'm now on the second week, I'm actually in the middle of the second week, is to eat less points than I did last week. So far, I'm on the right track. But yeah, anyways, every 10 days, I'm gonna come back with the weigh-ins, talk about how I did, see if I hit my goals, etc., etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.